Hey, what's up YouTube? Alien Rides here, and today we've got this crazy folding e-bike. Now I got the opportunity to review this tiny commuter solution. So let's check out some ride footage while I tell you about it. Subscribe and let's ride. Now the most impressive part of the Hemo Mini Folding e-bike is just how small of a package it folds down into. It's totally ridiculous how many latches and hinges this thing has, and it's magic to see it collapse or extend. There's more than 200 pieces required to build this small electric vehicle. In fact, the most appealing feature of this ride is just the tiny size of it. It folds up into one of the smallest packages that I've ever seen for an electric vehicle, and you can easily fit it in a car, in a bag, or under your desk. I think that use cases where the small form factor is important will be one of the main draws. Maybe leaving it folded up in the trunk of your car as a last mile solution, or stored away to lend to a friend occasionally would be a good use. So let's first take a look at the unboxing and then we'll get into the ride later. All right, you guys are not gonna believe what's in this box. So look at that. Transformers, how cool is that? This whole thing is just branded Transformers. Let's check this out. That's your boy, Optimus Prime. We got Bumblebee. That's pretty cool. Check that out. It's so compact. Got a little charger here. And there it is guys, the Hemo Mini. So let's take it out on a ride and see how this thing does. Another cool feature about this vehicle is the removable battery. You simply pull down on the handle, pull it out, and you can charge the battery wherever you want. Additional features include a nice bright dashboard that displays the current speed. The power button is right below it, and pressing it twice will turn on the headlight. On the left side of the handlebars, you have a thumb control for electronic braking. There's no physical brakes on this tiny bike, only electronic braking. On the right, you have a twist throttle. The twist throttle is unexpected, but pretty cool and this is probably the smallest vehicle I've ever seen with a twist throttle. There's two foot pegs at the front and they fold in for storage. So now let's get into some of the performance details and ride characteristics while riding this e-bike. The six inch solid tires make it so that you don't have to worry about flats, so that's one less area for maintenance. Being that there's no suspension though, it can be a bit of a rough ride. Your butt can get a bit sore because so much of your weight is on the seat while riding. Perhaps consider wearing some butt pads, and I'll link to them in the video description. The e-bike is powered by a single 180 watt rear hub motor. This will get you to a top speed of about 18 km per hour, or 11 miles per hour. Don't expect it to excel at hill climbs or anything like that, but it can definitely cruise somewhere much faster than walking. It's got a 36 volt 6 amp hour battery. The manufacturer states that the range is about 20 km or 12 miles. Likely, if you're a reasonable weight and going at a reasonable speed, you're going to get a little bit less than that. The weight comes in at about 14 and a half kilograms or 32 pounds. It's a reasonable weight and the whole e-bike feels like it's pretty solidly built. The electronic braking functions fine on flat ground, but I'd be careful going down steep hills with this. If the bike can't make it up the hill on its own power, I'm not sure you're going to be able to stop effectively on a steep incline. This small single motor device also wouldn't excel in hill climbs, so avoid those, but it's a lot of fun on flat ground. It's great for beginners, as many of my coworkers were excited to jump on this for the first time, while they were a bit scared of riding my giant monster scooters. It's also just nice to have a low-end vehicle around to allow friends to jump on it whenever they want to. So this tiny electric vehicle comes in at about 500 US dollars, which is around the price of other entry-level commuter scooters like the Xiaomi M365. 
It's more portable, but not as powerful as the Xiaomi. Their Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign is currently underway, and I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. All right, guys, that's all we got for now on this episode with this tiny and amazing electric e-bike. If you like this episode, please subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff so we can keep bringing you content on electric vehicles. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.